All right, so you're thinking about moving to Dallas, Texas, and you only seen what you have seen on that TV show, Dallas. Well, that's right. We're right here at the South Fork Ranch, famous in the Dallas TV series. That's what uh, really kind of popularized or glamorized Dallas back in the day, you could say in the 80s. Uh, now I'm over here. Uh, they're they're kind of, they're got the tractors out there mowing. And you can see, maybe you can see some of the longhorns over here as well. They got some longhorns in the field, but they have a whole visitor center and everything. If you want to come check out South Fork Ranch, you can come tour this whole property. We're right here in Parker, Texas. It's just uh, northeast on, uh, of Dallas. And of course, yeah, this is a real place. This is where they film the Dallas TV show and it is now a tourist center where you can come do some different tours. They've got a whole visitor center. They've got conference center. You can do venues here. You can rent spaces out, all kinds of things. I mean, get married. If you want to get married Dallas style, this is definitely the place to do that. So what we're going to do, kind of like we always do, is we're going to take you around town, show you a little bit of of uh, Parker here. We're going to take you to some different homes and some different price points so you can see what may fit inside your budget. And then we'll uh, cruise you around a couple of the neighborhoods so you can kind of get a good feel for it as well. And we're going to get after it right now. Hey, if this is your first time to the channel and you want to know everything there is about living in Dallas, Texas and the surrounding areas like Parker, then subscribe below, tap the bell for notifications so you can be the first to learn about the current market in Dallas. My name is Levi. You know the team and I, we get calls and emails every single day from people just like you and you and you and you looking to make their move to Dallas. We absolutely love it. So whether you're moving in nine days or 90 days, just give us a call, shoot us a text or send us an email. Happy to help you make a smooth move to Dallas. So as I mentioned, we're over here at South Fork Ranch, South Fork Ranch in Parker. Now, Parker's a little, uh, it's a little country town, even though it's just northeast of Dallas. And you can see, this is what you're gonna find a lot out here. You're gonna find a lot of land, a lot of space. I mean, Parker's only, only about 5,400 people in population, but the median home value uh, is around 550,000. And that's likely going to come with some some land so you're going to definitely find some bigger lots now they do have several subdivisions in here as well some new construction uh, and you're going to have kind of your typical subdivisions uh, you know in there with some regular size lots you could say probably a quarter acre or less in there but then you're going to also find several properties or opportunities you could say throughout where you've got plenty of land and we're really just about 25 minutes uh, from downtown, 25 to 30 minutes from downtown Dallas, just on the northeast side. So it's a little bit uh, nestled over here. Uh, you know, by Wiley, we've got actually full vlog tours on Wiley, Fairview, that you can check out McKinney as well. And so, you know, of course, pretty much any area in Dallas, we've got a full vlog tour on it. But otherwise, you know, this is a uh, very slow paced, a small town. You could say small town, even though you're right next to everything. So you're hop, skipping and jump away to Allen. You can go to the lakes. You can go to Lake Levon, Lake Ray Hubbard. You can enjoy the lake life uh, as well. So Parker's not too far from there, but otherwise, you know, it's a little bit slower paced around here. You're probably going to be working from home, uh, working remotely, or you could work in downtown Dallas as well. It won't be that bad of a commute or you maybe you'll be running the ranch out here that could be uh, something else you could be doing as well but i mean it's just uh it's a cool little town i mean really not a lot to it but still we want to show you some different homes and some different price points so let's go check them out let's go start with the first one all right so we're here at our first stop and it's a little bit of a higher price point than what we normally do but we're starting out at 688,000. this home right behind me is a four bedroom, three bath. It's about 2,300 square feet. You see, it's a little bit older. It was uh, built in 1978, but it's almost two acres. So you can kind of see, look, yes, there really are cactus in Texas. <laughs> so you can see it's got this nice corner lot, huge front yard. Now walk around to the back a little bit as well to show you some of the acreage. But here's the thing is out here in Parker's, this is the type of neighbors you can have as you can see, plenty of acreage right through here. 
I uh, got the wooden fences. You see the other neighbor. And look, windmills. You got windmills over here. I mean, this is this couldn't get more Texas and more country than right over here. Well, they got a lot of cactuses. You definitely don't want to follow or fall fall in there. You don't want to follow somebody in there and then fall in there. So, but we're coming around to the back here to show you that you get almost two acres here for just under seven hundred thousand. At I like the little. You see the little Texas flags over there but this is what you could have in your backyard. Uh, you got one little shed, nice little, can't tell if there's a, a pool back there. I don't believe there's a pool. I didn't see anything online. They might've covered it up, but then you've got even room for uh, you know RV parking, sheds, workshop, whatever it is you have back there as well. Uh, you could, I mean, they've got the chicken coop back there. I mean, you got room, you could throw a, throw you could put a horse or two back there possibly i mean wouldn't have a lot of room to run around but uh hopefully you take them out for getting some exercise around the uh, around the way which by the way uh where were we at we were in uh, princeton yeah we we're in princeton whenever you should check out that video princeton we uh met some cowboys riding around on their horses over there but again you're over here uh not too far from uh, downtown we're just not that far from the South Fork Ranch either as well but again I don't know let me be real quiet I don't know if you can hear there's a lot you can hear all the locusts in the tree I, I really like that they're not a problem here not a not pesty at all or anything like that they're just all up in the trees and during the summertime here in Texas you can just hear oh there is a horse over there you can just hear all the locusts in the tree all day long uh, and all through the night I, I like it, uh, maybe just because I'm used to it, but I like the sound. They're always making the noise. It looks like there's a little, a little baby horsey over there too. Maybe we could check that out. But otherwise, you know, this is pretty much what you're going to get over here in Parker. I'll try to speed this up a little bit. Okay, whoo, man, I was walking really fast there. Let's see. Let's see if we can get see if we can get the horses to come over here. Hey, horses! <coughs> I guess my horse calling uh, is not as as it once was. You know, growing up in the country, here uh, just south of Dallas, uh, we didn't we lived in town, uh, but all my a lot of my friends had ranches and farms and everything else. So we'd go out there, uh, hang out with their cows and horses and we'd have our weekend parties you know in high school out in the fields uh, I mean lots of friends with lots of land out there so that's kind of what we did that's what we did here in the country but it seems look at see the little guys out there seems I've lost my uh, horse calling skills they're just not that interested so but anyways with that let's go check out the next uh, price point All right, so I wanted to bring you to the next stop. Um, this house is a four bedroom, four and a half bath. It's just over 4,200 square feet. It's right at 760,000. It's not really even, uh, I wouldn't, I'm not gonna show the inside or pull up the pictures because it's completely dated. I would say it's a, it's a gut job, but the good thing about it is it's on uh, three and a half acres. So that's just something that you're going to find out here again in the Parker area is that you're going to find these homes and these lots with acreage, uh, quite a bit of acreage, depending on just you know what neighborhood or what area you're in. But otherwise, you can see it's a nicely treed lot, um, a lot of space in the background as well. And I would say probably another downside is, is you're right next door to the power lines. Uh, probably another reason why it could still be on the market. But otherwise, 
you know, a lot of space, a lot of opportunity out here, but definitely stick around because I'm about to take you to not just a million dollar plus property, but also take you inside. We're gonna go inside and uh, we, we're looking for a client right now uh, for a uh, $1.4 million home. Exactly what we're going, going to go check out in this model home. And we're gonna go inside and tour that around, so stick around for that. But otherwise, uh, you know, hey, I, what I like about this property, all the trees, it's on three and a half acres. Outside looks in mostly good shape. You've got uh, lots of space around here. You're not on top of your neighbors. But again, you're gonna have to do the remodel on the inside. But, and again, it's just it's a matter of if you want the acreage and you're willing to put in a little work on there or just keep an eye out. I mean, they're building some amazing homes over here as well, but they're closer in the million dollar range. So if you're at 750, I don't know, do you wanna stretch it up to a million? Hey, for a brand new construction home on these acre lots over here that we're about to go check out? Well, I don't know. Uh, let's uh, make that decision on your own. Let's go check out, let's go check out these other properties and uh, take it from there. All right, and we had to wrap up with, of course, a $1.2 million property here. This is a, a community where uh, they, they're building Shattuck and Grand Homes. Uh, this is the Shattuck home right behind us. It's absolutely gorgeous on the inside, but it's uh, over 4,500 square feet, uh, four bedroom, four and a half baths on a 1.1 acre lot. And that's what you're gonna find a lot through this community are these uh, over one acre lots here. So let me just kind of show you around. You can see, of course, some people still need to put up some fences and things like that, but we'll take you a little cruise around here, but that's an absolutely gorgeous home. You're gonna find some new construction communities throughout here. I uh, just wanted to show you some of the properties with a little bit of acreage so you can kind of get an idea. So you got a little mix of, and out here in Parker is going to be much older and then you're gonna have new construction, right? So. Uh, but this community is still getting built out. A couple of uh, opportunities out here, but Shattuck and Grand Homes, again, both pretty good builders and, and just have some really beautiful homes. You can kind of see, maybe we'll uh, scoot around to the side over here a little bit so you can get a, a view from the side. Got the corner lot, but other than that, you see they're gonna have some more uh, coming up over here uh, and just something to they got much more building going on over there but you know not much it's a new construction community again we've kind of talked about this in our other videos that that is the downside of new construction the good thing is is that you're getting in early and of course that should have some built-in appreciation in your home as they build out the rest of the community but at the same time the downside is is that you're in a new construction community and there's a lot of building going on so if you get in first well, you can grow with the community and your home should grow in value, but also new construction right now, prices tend or, uh, are, are tending to be raised regardless. So you kind of have appreciation by default because uh, clearly your, your home usually doesn't appreciate ten, twenty thousand dollars $20,000 in a month. But because of building materials, although that is starting to come down right now, then uh, that's been kind of driving up. But of course the demand is still pretty high here in the Dallas area, even Parker, on some of these outskirts uh, uh, areas like Parker. But other than that, still a great area, beautiful homes. And with that, we're gonna wrap it up.
All right, we don't always do this on our vlogs, but I, I'm going to take you inside the model home to wrap this up because it's absolutely amazing. And we actually have a client that we're working with right now, 1.4 million, and they're looking for a very specific home with a very specific floor plan. And this is pretty much it. So I figured while I'm here, uh, might as well show you around. So we're gonna go inside this model home. This is a grand home and it is absolutely amazing as you can see i love this modern transitional type style they've got let me just show you a little bit more <laughs> let me talk to you a little bit about the outside before we so we got stone brick whitewash brick love that the black uh rectangle windows love that as well i mean it's absolutely amazing wait till you see this as we go inside it's uh very beautiful so you got whoop, let me scoop in here we got the wide plank oak floors, as you can see. Now we're gonna come right here to this, to the office, right here off. Uh, as soon as you enter in, you've got this beautiful office and look at these, the barn doors, so it's completely open, so that way you don't wanna feel closed in, but at the same time, if you need your privacy, you can close these doors right here. But look, this is why this, our client loves this particular floor plan is because of, look how open everything is right here open uh, living dining kitchen area absolutely amazing look at the pool in the back i'm going to scoot over here first so you can see this um, and we'll get to the good stuff but we'll come over here to this bedroom now this is going to this is not going to be the master but still it's a beautiful bedroom right here you can see it's got a full bath i love the, the blue tile in here we'll just take a step in nice beautiful shower Man, I like that. I like that blue tile. So nice tall ceilings in here. Just in a guest bedroom, you could say absolutely amazing. Now you look, you've got the chandelier. You've got, look at the entrance. Look at all the detail. You got the open uh, concept for uh, upstairs and huge vaulted ceilings. Look at this TV just kind of blends into that, uh, into the, the mantle there. California living now this is a thing happening now because of all you Californians moving here into the Dallas area so now we have to start building our homes the way you like it you know this is the way we got a lot of Californians requesting this style where it's uh, you know the one wall is basically all the the doors the accordion doors those aren't accordion doors but just the the doors that will open for the full concept look at all the windows here in the formal dining area right here and look at this amazing stove and hood top as well. Uh, refrigerator tucked in there quite nicely. Man, I love all these windows, all the natural light again. Huge ceilings, pool table, got a nice game room up. Bam, now that's what I'm talking about right here. This, <laughs> uh, I would, this is where I would live, right inside of this, uh, this closet area. Uh, I would come out of there but you could bring it all over in here. Look at this nice open concept again. So you could sit here and play pool. You've got the games going on, everything. This is absolutely amazing right here. Make up the drinks, got the TV going. You could even hang from outside once those are all open. Even in here, vaulted area. Let's see what else we got. There's a couple of bedrooms off to the side over here. You've got the coffee bar coffee bar going on look at this double oven microwave built in nice pantry area so this is a, a tile but it looks like weathered wood i really like that that's pretty cool and you've got you've got uh, two bedrooms right over here so coming to the first pretty similar to what we saw but again still very high ceilings in here nice uh bath have uh no, that's a full bath. Got a full bath in here as well. Even the full bath, beautiful. So let's keep going. And I'm gonna skip over there. The, uh, <laughs> all the reps, they said, ah, oh, we don't wanna be in there, so no problem. That's just the offices, but we'll, we'll run upstairs real quick as well and take a quick look at, again, <laughs> and you've got the whole media room right up here. Game room, media room. I mean, game room is actually downstairs as well. 
But I tell you what, this is absolutely amazing. Love the Cowboys star right there. Of course, when you move to Dallas, you gotta definitely become a Cowboys fan, right? Got the poker table, got the shuffleboard, and you've got that open concept. Hey, bring me a drink. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that never works. Don't do that. Another bathroom right here, absolutely amazing. And again, now we're coming up into another bedroom with, uh, <laughs> this has a, oh, this is the entrance area. So your bedroom has a nice seating area right here, a little bonus seating area. That's pretty cool. Uh, I like that a lot. So other than that, that's pretty much well, let's go find the master. Didn't find that one yet. So let's go down, check it out. So you can see most of the bedrooms are on the first floor. And we will find, where's the master? Oh, I missed that one. Thank you. Aha, <laughs> to the other side. I was so taken back by everything in here that the master, I just missed this little nook right here to come into the master. And I should have known that anyways, but look at this master. No, I mean, huge vaulted ceilings overlooking the backyard. You've got the hot tub back there as well. And now you're gonna come into the master bathroom. Look at that rain head shower i mean absolutely amazing let's go check out and see you got his and her sinks <laughs> almost like a, a little coffee bar in here toilet and look at the closet all the way back in here and all the way back in there so that's it look hey <laughs> so that is this is the master Absolutely amazing, beautiful, beautiful. Just check this out from, from this vantage point right there. All right, so that's the grand home tour, literally the grand home tour. So I hope you enjoyed this portion of it. If you did, if you like these model home tours at the end of our vlogs, let me know. We'll see if we can include some more in it. So again, um, that pretty much wraps up everything on Parker. And again, whether you're moving in nine days or 90 days, be sure to give us a call, shoot us a text or send us an email. Happy to help you make a smooth move to Dallas or the surrounding areas like Parker. And until next time, well, we hope to see you around town.